Hello, I'm Fenton Bergen, Head of Deloitte's UK Debt Advisory Team. I'm pleased to give you my views on the debt markets in quarter three, quarter four of 2016. In the third quarter, record low interest rates and central bank support programmes continue to supercharge the debt markets with global issuance so far this year exceeding five trillion US dollars with volumes looking set to exceed 2006's all-time high of $6.6 .6 trillion. The European Central Bank's corporate sector purchase programme has been a major factor in the market's boost. Since June this year, it's been buying up to €8 billion Euro worth of non-bank corporate bonds every month as part of its quantitative easing programme, a real game-changing volume that's resulted in yields for corporate bond issuers falling significantly. The average yield on investment grade eurobonds fell to a record low of half a percent in October, down from 1.2% at the start of 2016. And I'm confident we'll see these favourable market dynamics remain well into 2017 as investors continue to search for yield. In the leverage markets, the same dynamics are playing out, and now's a good time to be refinancing, with in some cases, the achievable lower interest rates outweighing the short-term cost of any non-call prepayment provisions. Sterling bond issuance slowed in the run-up to the Brexit referendum with just 8 billion having been issued in the first half, half the volume of five years ago. But it's since picked up again following the Bank of England's announcement in August that going forward it would include up to 10 billion sterling of corporate bonds in its renewed quantitative easing program. Just over 17 billion of corporate bonds have been issued to the end of quarter three, and average sterling market weighted investment grade bond yields have fallen to below 2.5%, the lowest level this century. I think this resurgence in the sterling market will continue where issuers need sterling as opposed to euro. So, looking ahead, is it all good news for you as corporate borrowers? I think there are some signs that a market readjustment is imminent. Specifically, October has seen volatility spreading from the currency markets into the financial environment. Since June, we've seen sterling fall by 18% against the US dollar, and in October, prompted by the UK government's comments around a hard Brexit, overseas investors led a big sell-off in UK gilts, pushing long-dated gilts towards their biggest monthly loss since 1992. With yields moving inversely to price, the 10-year benchmark gilt has moved up to 1.2% from around 1% pre the Brexit referendum. It's unusual for gilts to sell off in parallel to a currency depreciation, and one of my big questions for the rest of this year is whether the corporate bond and loan markets will ignore this movement, both in gilt yields and any broader market impact of the likely temporary acceleration in UK inflation. Of course, much will depend on what the Bank of England and the US Federal Reserve do around interest rates and any broader market impact from the results of the US election. There are already some signs that these factors are feeding through to corporate borrowing markets. The three-month dollar London interbank offered rate, the key rate at which banks lend to each other and a benchmark for corporate loans, has risen from around 0.6% pre-Brexit to close to 0.9% in October. However, in part this rise has been driven by new US money market regulations coming into force that have shifted cash out of funds which invest in corporate debt. But when these technically driven movements are combined with the potential for the Fed to raise US rates later this year, it's difficult to not see this uplift feeding through to some corporate borrowers. In summary, as we move into quarter four, whilst market conditions remain very favourable for borrowers, the signs are there that macro factors could create some short-term volatility. I'm Fenton Bergen. Thank you for watching. <music>